Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today we are showing you a new tool called Forecast. You can find Forecast on symbol pages like this. For example, here's the Apple symbol page. All you have to do is click the Forecast button and you will find yourself on a page with various Apple price targets. You can see a maximum, an average, the current price, and the minimum projected price. Extremely important note, these are just projections. No one can see into the future. These are simply projections. You can either use them for your research, to help your research. You can totally ignore them, or maybe to you, they're actually a contrarian indicator, something you're going to bet against. Uh, a lot of people will do that with various projections. But the point of us even saying that is for you to remember, this is just a new tool and some more information to use in your research process. Keep in mind at the bottom we even say be warned. This info isn't a recommendation for what you should pers personally do. So please don't take the data as investment advice. As with any trade, always look first, then leap. So what exactly is this price target tool, the forecast tab? Well, we're going to head over to our blog here. And as you can see, we launched this on August 26, 2022. The analytical forecast is now available on the symbol page, as we just showed you. So there are some really important things to understand about this uh, tool. First of all, the data comes from FactSet. If you don't know FactSet, they have been around for over 40 years, and they have been providing financial data and analytics to investors essentially across the world and they really focus on institutional data. So they are gathering and aggregating data from institutions. It could be banks, it could be funds, asset managers, analysts, uh, really anything uh, of that sort who's willing to provide them with that data. FactSet is then able to aggregate that data and we can take that data and show it on the symbol page as a forecast. So that is really key to remember. This is information coming from professionals. So people who work in markets 24-7. It is their full-time job. They're working for a bank, an institution, an analyst firm, something of that nature. So you can see here in this Apple example, there is an analyst out there or, or someone who has a one-year forecast of 34%. There is also another analyst out there or another research uh, uh, researcher out there who is saying that one year forecast, Apple has a minimum drawdown of minus 16%. Then of course there is an average. So taking all of these inputs and saying, well, the average return over one year could is expected to be 11.76%. But once again, no one can see into the future. So this is just another tool for you to see more information about what professionals think about a specific symbol. Every trader investor is different. We know that there are advanced traders and advanced investors who are on TradingView who do not need this additional data. They already use the chart to make better decisions, to plan ahead, to research every key detail on every single chart, and then they execute their strategy as needed. But of course, there are then those who actually like to see this type of data. What are the, uh, you know, what are the so-called professionals saying? What is the range of possibilities from these so-called professionals? Well, the forecast tool gives you that information. And as mentioned, when you are on the overview page and scroll down, you can see our famous technical gauge, which adds up a ton of technical indicators and shows them to you. Videos coming on this soon, but also the analyst rating gauge. So you can now see what the average analyst rating is saying. And also when you click this button, you will be taken to the forecast tab. So this is a brand new tab that is on the symbol page. And as a few examples, if we head to Amazon, we are now on the overview page, click forecast. We are going to see a totally different forecast because no company is the same. Every researcher and analyst covers companies differently. Differently, They have different forecasts and ideas. 
So in this example, Amazon apparently has a max potential gain of 64% over the next one year and a minimum potential drawdown of minus 15% for an average return of 29%. But remember, this is into the future. No one can see into the future. It's simply presenting to you what some professionals or researchers are saying how they're aggregating that data and then sharing it. It's up to you to decide how you really want to use it. Keep in mind, it is a one year forecast. So this is over one year. And also keep in mind, this data updates randomly and sometimes infrequently because some stocks are more in demand than others. For example, Amazon is one of the largest companies on the planet. So it is naturally going to get more research and more attention. But if you are looking at a smaller company, maybe less known, for example, well, Tesla actually is uh, also a very covered company. And if you go to Tesla's forecast, uh, you'll notice these numbers might change fairly f frequently as well. But let's think of a company that's not as discussed or not as closely followed. And a company that might fall into that realm could potentially be something that's more like B-A-L-L, -L, so Ball Corporation. Have you ever heard of them? You might be surprised to know that they make glass jars and other uh, glass products. Well, if we click their forecast, this will probably update not as frequently. So it's a one-year forecast. It updates sometimes randomly. It shows the maximum of what in a professional is thinking, the minimum drawdown or the, the drawdown, uh, the average of those two, and of course the current price. So you can read more on our blog. We, the blog uh, breaks this down even more. And you can see the forecast is based on data received from FactSet. It contains up-to-date analysis of research and analyst individual assessments on the prospects of the selected symbol, given the changes in the market and indeed the world. So it is very useful because it gives you insight into sentiment that's happening from these professionals as it comes in. Just keep in mind, it's different for every single company. It's uh, no company is the same. There are different uh, researchers who cover different companies or have different specialties, and you're just going to see different forecasts. It's up to you to decide uh, how you use that information, whether you use it to get a little bit more of a professional uh, touch and feel and understanding of what they're thinking out one year, or if you use it to potentially... Uh, look for maybe volatility of ranges or even, as we mentioned earlier, maybe you're looking for extremes, uh, extreme minimums or extreme maximums. And then, of course, lastly, you may not even need the forecast tab. Nonetheless, we hope that you enjoyed this video and we hope it showed you this new tool. And keep in mind, this is a whole new feature now available to all TradingView members. You have this analyst rating tool to get a feel for what these professional researchers uh, are saying and how FactSet is uh, aggregating and sharing that data. So thanks so much for watching and we hope that this video helped. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions.